Hi, my name is Roman Cashel from IT Integrated Business Solutions and today I'm going to give a small screencast on creating forms in Rapid Weaver with PHP processing in the background and redirecting to a page, another page created with Rapid Weaver, depending on the outcome of the processing. Today's discussion is about PHP processing of form information and the use of HTML. One of the big questions that arises is when do we use PHP? Second question today is what is a form in HTML and what are the various attributes associated with a form? The third thing that we're going to take in this presentation is how can I read information within PHP. So the field information that was gathered on the form, how do we access that within PHP so that we can do something with it, whether it's writing it to a database or appending a file or making decisions as to what next page we should be accessing. And finally, we're going to have a look at how we can redirect to a separate page within Rapid Weaver. So PHP. When should I use PHP? PHP code or files with a, a .php extension will go to a PHP engine to process. A file will look very, very similar to, to a HTML file, except within the file itself you will find PHP segments. A PHP segment is where you've got the less than symbol, question mark, PHP, and inside that you have PHP code. You close the PHP segment with a question mark greater than symbol. If a file contains any segments like this, then you must name it with a .php. Otherwise, I would recommend that you name it with a .html. The reason for this is there is a performance overhead using PHP. So if you've got a a raw HTML file that does not contain PHP tags and you put it through the PHP engine, the performance, you, you will get a, a noticeable performance hit in terms of CPU by doing this. I've created another screencast which explains all of this and you can find them at youtube.com user Ronan Cashel. Forms. What is a form action? Well, before we look at a form action, let's have a look at a typical form. A form contains the form element with the attributes action and method. This is the most basic form. Inside that, we have an input field, text field, and the name is email. And we also have a submit button. The action attribute is simply telling it the PHP file that we're going to use to process that information. If we have a look at the method, the form method, there are two options. You have a get, and a get typically will append all of the input field values and input field names one after another along with the, the name itself, the process.php. So you get something like this. The post, on the other hand, sends the request to the process.php request to the server, to the web server, and subsequently takes all the information and sends that separately. So it's not contained within one URL, it's actually done in the background. Now, how do I submit a form? If we go back to the original example, you'll see that you've got an input field which is of type submit. The submit within that form will submit that form's contents. If a submit existed outside the form, it would not submit the contents of that form. So it's very important to, to note that. Now, on PHP form processing, how do I read the form information fields. So the fields that we contain that were contained, the input fields that were contained within the form, how do we read that information? Well, 
there are corresponding method um, values or global values. So you've got a dollar underscore get. If the method of, of sending information to the server was using, was using the get, likewise you've got post, and there's a special one which is a dollar underscore request, which can be either a get or a post. This is the one that I would recommend most people use because it then means you can either create a URL dynamically along with all of the, the items or we can use post. In either case it will process the same way. Some useful functions inside PHP for processing. Is set is particularly important because you can identify whether something actually exists or not. So if you're expecting a field like email, but it hasn't come along, then instead of your, your PHP code dying, it will continue. And you can set different values depending on whether it's set or it's not set. Another one to, to remember is include once. This includes the contents of a separate file within the PHP. This is particularly useful if you want to do some if you want to show different forms based on the results of your processing. And we'll come to that later on. So redirecting. The redirecting tag is something that is contained within the header section of a HTML page. And you have to use the meta HTTP equiv refresh content equals zero URL equals page.html. The page.html is simply referring to the page which we will be redirecting to. So let's have a look at a hands-on demo. In this demo I'm going to create a form in Rapid Weaver. We're going to submit the form, we're going to do the processing in PHP and we're going to do redirection. But redirection will, will be in one of two ways. The first way is using the meta tag which we saw previously and the second way is using the include once to actually read the contents of the file and to display it back. To speed up the processing I've already created our Rapid Weaver page so in this case here I've used a, a HTML type page and I've put in the form elements. So you can see the form action process.php, the method is a get. We have an input field with a text input field with the name mail, email. We've got a submit button and then we close the form. Now if we view this we simply have this email. We can add in the email address and if we click submit that will submit the form to the server. The second page that we look at is the success page which is simply indicating successfully applied to the database and likewise failure, failure to add to the database is this one here. And the code for PHP should be executed as early as possible. In this case I've actually put it into the header section of the page. So you can see here the beginning of the PHP segment and this is the end of the PHP segment. You can have many in between likewise here and here, here and here. So in this case there are three PHP segments on the page. The PHP segment is simply getting the email request, doing a connection to the database, inserting the value into the database closing the database connection and depending on the contents of email in this case if it's a fail we're actually going to redirect to the failure.html which happens to be this file here. We have a look here at the general you'll see failure.html and likewise this one is success.html. The process must have the extension process.php. This is extremely important. Failing to put this in will result in your code not executing the way you, you want it to execute.
Okay, now that we've got this done, let's have a look at publishing the site. Okay, it's published. You've got the we put in Ronan at we submit and it successfully applied this to the database. And inside the database we can see that the item has been added. If on the other hand we were to type in fail as our code showed this should go to the error or the failure.html page and you can see here it's been redirected to the failed to add to database page likewise in the database we will see that fail has been applied to the database that was the logic of our, of our application a second way of redirecting is to like that. And if we republish go back to the demo This contains a lot of information, more information than we actually need. So let's remove a lot of the information that's included here. So if we go back and we resubmit, you can see that it's been successfully updated without going to the database. But it's extremely important to note that the code should contain only the minimal processing because we're including the full HTML page, which has its own HTML tag, header tag, body tag, so we don't need to do any processing from there. I hope you've enjoyed today's screencast about creating forms in Rapid Weaver and PHP processing and join us for more videos from us in, in the near future.